Hey guys, oh gosh. So I haven't made a video in a while and I don't know why and I thought today would be a good day to make a video. So I got on the camera and I started to make my video. My cat was stuck to me. I started to make my video and today's video is actually going to be about something I have been um, working on for a while. Um, a saint that I pray to. Her name is Saint Martha the Dominator, or Saint Martha the Subduer, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about her. So Saint Martha is often related to um, Mama Watiwa, uh, and Mama Watiwa is a, a is a water spirit, an African water spirit, and she deals a lot with um, snakes. Most of the times when you see Mama Watiwa, you'll see her holding two snakes and a boy at her feet. And the story that goes with this is that Mama Watiwa was um, in the graveyard visiting her, visiting the grave of her um, her father, who was the Baroness. Um, and at the same time, there was a little boy in this graveyard visiting his mother, who was the Baroness. They were visiting, they were both visiting graves, and while Mama Watiwa was um, at her father's grave meditating, she suddenly heard the boy scream out, and when she, and coming from a long line of fighters and warriors, she just immediately jumped into action. When she got in there, she realized that um, the boy was under attack, and she saved him, um, having dominated all the snakes. And the little boy, who was an orphan because he had never known his father and his mother had passed, was taken in by um, Mama Watiwa. Now, the reason that this story is related to St. Martha the Dominator, and if you ever see St. Martha the Dominator or St. Martha the Subduer, she has a dragon at her feet. And the biblical story that goes with St. Martha is she... After um, Jesus had been crucified, there was a town that was having some trouble with the dragon. So she took a lamp, um, a Bible, uh, a lamp or a torch. It changes from story to story and it changes from image to image. But she took a lamp, uh, a Bible, some holy water, and leaf, and some holy water. And using only those four things, she went and she subdued a dragon and saved a whole city. She's the patron of the hard worker. Um, she's the patron of the housekeeper and the, uh, she's the patron. Um, St. Martha, is, her day is Tuesday. Um, the color I associate with her is green. Um, you know, there might be some other color associations, but when you see her, She's usually depicted in green and yellow or a greenish yellow color, wearing a greenish yellow color. Um, Martha is known as St. Martha the Dominator because there's nothing that she can't overcome. She can overcome spirits, she can dominate spirits, she can dominate um, living people. You know, she's most often used in um, love spells, so dominating lovers. Um, I personally, I actually do use it for love spells, uh, more so than any other type of, well no, I use it for money spells too, she's very good with money. Um, you have to keep things clean, like I said, and when I say keeping things clean, I mean energy clean too. If you don't clean energy, I've come home and I, I, I used to be very, I, I'll be honest, I used to be very um, guilty of this. I used to, because my altar is right there, and it's right by my door, and I just come home and I throw my stuff on it. Um, I throw my stuff on it, and that would be the end of it. But if she doesn't like the way something is being kept, she's going to let you know. And she will. she's let me know a couple of times. I've came home, and things have been sprawled out everywhere. Her picture has been on the floor because the floor was cleaner than <laughs> Then the altar, and I was just like, okay, well, now I know to keep that clean. And after coming home three or four times and having that happen, I knew to keep it clean. 
she's also very big about you keeping your word and she doesn't mix well with other spirits so you know it's never a good idea to combine altars but i have an altar specifically just for goddess like just for feminine energy and i'm actually thinking of taking that down and making it a feminine and masculine energy altar um she doesn't like being mixed in with any other spirits so she had to have her own special altar and i respected her enough and i was like okay you can have your altar it's it's what you want it's what you get so i gave her that 